Charles Haddon Spurgeon, widely celebrated as the Prince of Preachers, stands as a towering figure in the history of Christian ministry. Born in 1834 in Kelvedon, Essex, England, Spurgeon's life was one of profound faith, exceptional oratory, and significant personal trials. From his conversion at the age of 15, which set him on a path of passionate evangelism, to his dynamic ministry in London, where his sermons drew thousands weekly, Spurgeon's impact was both immediate and enduring. Despite facing chronic illness and bouts of depression, his unwavering commitment to preaching, writing, and charitable work has left an indelible legacy on Christian thought and practice. Spurgeon's life is a testament to the power of faith and perseverance, continuing to inspire and influence believers worldwide. Early Life Charles Spurgeon was born on June 19, 1834, in Kelvedon, Essex, England. He was the first of 17 children, though only eight survived into adulthood. Spurgeon was raised in a devout Christian home, his father and grandfather both being pastors, which deeply influenced his early spiritual development. Conversion and Early Ministry Spurgeon experienced a profound conversion at the age of 15. On a snowy January morning in 1850, he wandered into a primitive Methodist chapel in Colchester where a lay preacher spoke on Isaiah 45 verse 22. This sermon led Spurgeon to a personal faith in Jesus Christ. Soon after his conversion, he began preaching. His first pastoral position was at the age of 17, in the small village of Waterbeach. His dynamic preaching quickly drew attention leading to his appointment as the pastor of New Park Street Chapel in London at the age of 19. Ministry in London Spurgeon's move to New Park Street Chapel marked the beginning of a significant period in his ministry. The church grew rapidly under his leadership, necessitating several moves to larger venues. Eventually, the congregation settled in the newly constructed Metropolitan Tabernacle in 1861, which could seat 5,000 people and was often filled to capacity. Spurgeon's preaching was characterized by its clarity, powerful oratory, and theological depth. He was a master of vivid illustrations and practical applications, making his sermons accessible and engaging to a wide audience. Over his lifetime, he preached to an estimated 10 million people and published numerous sermons, books, and articles. Personal Life In 1856, Spurgeon married Susanna Thompson, and they had twin sons, Charles and Thomas. Susanna played a crucial role in his ministry, particularly through her support and management of Spurgeon's publications. Despite his public success, Spurgeon's life was not without personal suffering. He faced significant health challenges, including chronic illnesses such as gout, rheumatism, and kidney disease. These ailments often left him bedridden and in severe pain. Additionally, he struggled with bouts of depression, which he referred to as the minister's fainting fits. Legacy and Impact Spurgeon's influence extended beyond his preaching. He founded the Pastors' College, now Spurgeon's College, in 1856 to train future ministers. He also established the Stockwell Orphanage, which provided care and education for hundreds of children. His written works have had a lasting impact. The Treasury of David, a commentary on the Psalms, and Morning and Evening, a daily devotional, remain popular among Christians today. His sermons, numbering over 3,600, have been widely distributed and translated into multiple languages. Spurgeon was also known for his strong stance on doctrinal purity. He was involved in the downgrade controversy, defending evangelical beliefs against what he perceived as liberal theological trends within the Baptist Union, which eventually led to his withdrawal from the Union in 1887. Death and Legacy Charles Spurgeon died on January 31, 1892, at the age of 57. His funeral was a major event, attended by thousands who wished to honor his memory and legacy. Spurgeon's life was marked by a remarkable blend of personal suffering and public triumph. His deep commitment to preaching the gospel and his compassion for the suffering have left an indelible mark on Christian history. His works continue to inspire and influence pastors and believers around the world. 
In conclusion, the life of Charles Haddon Spurgeon is a profound testament to the enduring power of faith, eloquence, and resilience. From his humble beginnings in Essex to his emergence as a leading preacher of his time, Spurgeon's unwavering dedication to his ministry and his relentless pursuit of doctrinal purity shaped the spiritual lives of millions. His contributions extend beyond his powerful sermons, his written works, charitable endeavors, and the institutions he founded continue to impact the Christian world. Despite facing significant personal challenges, including chronic illness and depression, Spurgeon's legacy as the Prince of Preachers remains influential, inspiring generations of believers to deepen their faith and commitment to the gospel. His life story is a compelling narrative of how one individual's steadfast devotion can leave a lasting mark on history. See you in the next video, leave your comment, 